about using the perfect soldier, did you? He's supposed to be undergoing readjustments. Where is he? Where is that man? I found you. Tell me, why are you still alive? I used to get dreams about my comrades. They'd come save me with strong arms and laughing voices. When I woke up, I had nothing. No joy, no sorrow, no hatred, no memory. When I wake up from the darkness, all I see are the bodies of men I've killed, lying in front of me. My memory is riddled with corpses. I know. Everybody dies. Crime, disease, accidents, war. No matter how noble a person you are, no matter how good a soldier, there are no exceptions. Even if I don't kill them, they die. This world is full of death, and yet you won't be killed. Why? Why do you still live? What do you hope to accomplish by living? I know your name. It was four years ago, in Mozambique. There was a child soldier fighting with a guerrilla group in the struggle for independence. He killed dozens of government soldiers with just a single knife. He'd throw the enemy off guard with the innocent frankness of a young boy. Then he'd prey on them with the cold cruelty of a hunter. He spoke a little German, so his enemies called him Frank Jaeger, the Frank Hunter. Frank Jaeger, my name. Don't do this. The strong arms, allies who will help you are somewhere else. No, I am the perfect soldier. Where I exist, there are no other soldiers. So I don't need a name. I am no. And when you're dead, I can go back to being no. I remember now. Big boss, even then, you were the one who stopped me. I was raised by adults to be a tool of war, but you defeated me, watched over me. I'm sorry. I thought you'd have been safe at the rehab facility. I had no idea they'd subject you to this. It had to be the philosophers. It's okay, big boss. You're always there to save me. You helped me fill the void inside. Let's get going. It's time to blow this place. can make it, Snake. To be honest, I'm a bit surprised. You've come much further than I'd expected. He was right about you. He... But that no longer matters. You've got no reason left to fight. Your mission is over, Snake. Mission? What are you talking about, Cunningham? 
All right then, Snake. I'll explain it to you. I don't answer to Gene. What? The CIA may control Fox, but I don't answer to them either. My employer is the U.S. Department of Defense. What do you mean? Everything you've seen so far. Surely you know the CIA and the Pentagon aren't on the best of terms. You're talking about a fight over budget? No, not that. The Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961. The covert ops in North Vietnam. The influence of the CIA in America's military affairs grows with each passing year. The Pentagon brass started to feel threatened. And then they found out about the Metal Gear project. They enlisted Gene, Fox unit's commanding officer, and had him steal it before it could be handed over to the Russians. What do you think would happen if Gene were to launch Metal Gear into the Soviet Union? The CIA'd lose face, and the military's influence would immediately start to soar. You were trying to get Gene to use the nukes on purpose? Are you out of your mind? You'd start an all-out nuclear war. Wrong again, Snake. Gene is just a renegade. And the Russians are the ones who built this base. The fundamental design for Metal Gear and the nukes it carries are Russian-made. And you blame Washington? Besides, there'll be no evidence left behind anyway. See this, Snake? A Davy Crockett. Exactly. A miniature nuclear warhead. But this one is Soviet-made. After Gene launches Metal Gear, I'll obliterate this base. Not a single blade of grass will be left behind. What are you going to do with the other soldiers? Those Red Army rebels? What do you care? They're our enemies! <laughs> but you're different, Snake. You carried out your mission well. You followed the script he and the Pentagon wrote for you to the letter. Script? Do you want to know the real reason you were sent here? Because we knew you'd throw a wrench into Gene's plans. We needed someone to sneak into enemy territory alone, recruit the rebels to his side, and leave Gene with no choice but to launch Metal Gear. The only soldier who could pull it off was you, the legendary hero, Big Boss. And sure enough, that's just what you've done. Now you've done quite enough. We still need Gene to launch Metal Gear. It's part of the Pentagon's plan. And we can't have you disrupting that, too. There's a heliport on top of this base. Get on the chopper, Snake. Once Metal Gear has been launched as planned, we'll take you back to the States. After this place is nothing but cinders, you'll be a hero once again. It won't be the CIA congratulating you. But you'll get over it. What do you think you're doing, Snake? Are you still blinded by your loyalty to the CIA? What has the CIA ever done for us in Fox? They sent us on the most brutal missions. And when I came back wounded, they shuffled me to a desk job. They did the same to you, too. They cast your mentor, the mother of our special forces, out into a foreign land and left her there to die. Don't tell me you're doing it for the Russian soldiers here. Pathetic fool. Go to the heliport, Snake. I'm not letting you through. Go back. I can't let you use Metal Gear. I'm doing this out of loyalty to myself. I'm not gonna live my life the way the boss did. <laughs> Have it your way. Now you're a real traitor. Ah! Why, Snake? If you'd just gone home to America, you and I would have been given the highest honors a soldier can achieve. And now, look what you've done. But I'm not gonna die alone. I'm taking you with me. Cunningham, no! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha!